Meet Grace, a 28-year-old woman. One sunny afternoon while gardening, she got a tiny cut on her hand. It seemed harmless, just a little redness and swelling. She cleaned it at home and carried on. But two days later, Grace felt unusually tired and developed a fever. By the third day, she was shivering confused and her blood pressure had dropped dangerously low. At the hospital, doctors discovered that the minor cut had allowed bacteria to enter her bloodstream. Grace had developed sepsis, a life-threatening condition. She was rushed into intensive care, treated with intravenous antibiotics and fluids. After several tense days, she survived. But her story reminds us, even a healthy young adult can be hit hard by sepsis. So what exactly is sepsis? Sepsis is your body's overreaction to an infection. Instead of fighting just the germs, your immune system goes into overdrive and starts damaging your own organs and tissues. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, sepsis affects over 49 million people every year worldwide and causes 11 million deaths, about one in every five deaths globally. The CDC calls sepsis a medical emergency because it can lead to tissue damage, organ failure, and death if not treated quickly. Anyone can get sepsis, young or old, rich or poor. WHO data shows it's most common in newborns, the elderly, and people with weak immune systems. In the U.S. alone, the CDC estimates at least 1.7 million adults develop sepsis every year, and about 350,000 die either during hospital stay or shortly after discharge. Grace's case shows, even healthy young adults aren't immune. Sepsis often looks like other illnesses, but there are key warning signs. A simple way to remember is the acronym SEPSISS. -S. Shivering, fever, or feeling very cold. E, extreme pain or discomfort. The worst I've ever felt. P, pale, clammy, or discolored skin. S, sleepy, difficult to wake or confused. I, I feel like I might die, that gut feeling. S, shortness of breath. The CDC warns, if you notice these, don't wait. Go to the hospital immediately. When bacteria enter the bloodstream, your immune system releases chemicals to fight them. But sometimes the response goes into overdrive. Blood vessels leak, blood pressure crashes, and organs like the kidneys, lungs, and heart begin to fail. This is why sepsis can turn deadly in just hours. Both WHO and CDC agree. Preventing infections is the best way to prevent sepsis. That means staying up to date on vaccines like flu, pneumonia, and meningitis, cleaning even small wounds properly and watching for redness, swelling, or pus. Practicing good hygiene, hand washing, food safety, and avoiding unnecessary antibiotics. Remember, no infection, no sepsis. When doctors suspect sepsis, they act fast. Treatment includes IV antibiotics to kill the infection IV fluids, to keep blood pressure stable, oxygen therapy, to support breathing. In severe cases, machines may temporarily support your lungs, kidneys, or heart. The key is early treatment. Every hour of delay increases the risk of death. Surviving sepsis is only the beginning. Many patients face long-term effects called post-sepsis syndrome, including fatigue, memory problems, PTSD, or even amputations. Who estimates millions of survivors live with disabilities caused by sepsis every year? Recovery can take months or even years. The CDC has a campaign with a powerful reminder. Always ask your doctor, could this be sepsis? Awareness can save lives because the earlier sepsis is recognized, the better the chance of survival. Grace's story had a happy ending, but not everyone is so lucky. Sepsis kills 11 million people every year. But by recognizing the signs and acting quickly, you can protect yourself and your loved ones. So if you ever suspect sepsis, don't wait. Go to the hospital. It could save your life. Share this video. You might literally save a life today. And don't forget to subscribe for more health stories that matter.